Almighty God, we come before you, and as always, we start by giving thanks. We thank you for all that you have done, that we don't deserve, but all that you have done for all of us. Even the little things that we may not notice. Some of us may have been near death this week and we didn't even realize it and we were delivered from that death we thank you Lord we thank you dear God we come before you because scripture says that whatever we ask for if we believe shall be done and we ask that your will be done in our lives here, now, on earth, as it is in heaven. Oh, dear Lord, so many things that are happening. Good things, not so good things, but things nonetheless. I thank you for each and every one of these individuals who are watching, who are listening. I thank you for those who will watch and listen later. A special blessing be with each and every one of them. A special blessing, dear God. We thank you for those who are celebrating birthdays, my sister Mary, Chaplain Carolyn. Dear Lord, we thank you for them. We ask that you bless them with many more years of life in health alongside their loved ones. We thank you for the works in progress. The work you are doing in Michael, our brother Tony's son. The work that you are doing in Michael Rodriguez, my good friend. The work that you are doing in all our lives, my God. We ask for world peace. I know it sounds so far-fetched to ask for world peace, but we are thankful that we can ask. Peace in this nation. So much division, Lord. It's very hard to get ahead if we're constantly bickering with one another and fighting amongst each other. It's very hard. May your light shine in all this, dear God. May your light shine through us onto all those we come in contact with. Elections are coming up. May they go smoothly. We thank you for our first responders as always. We thank you for all those who were responsible for all these different um Breast Cancer Awareness Walks, Fit Fests, Events. We thank you because we try to never forget the many who have been taken from us because of breast cancer and those that are continuing to survive. A special blessing be with those. Those who are here, my God, and who are dealing with an illness, place your healing hands, dear God. Place your healing hands upon my dad at this moment in the hospital. May he feel your warmth. Be with each and everyone here who is still recovering and or not feeling well for one reason or another. We ask your healing hands upon them. Brother Steve is asking, my God, for financial fortitude. He is still without work like many are. Dear Lord, we ask that they may call him back to work. We ask, dear God, that you be with this family, my God, and that you provide what it is they need, dear Lord, to continue to stay afloat. 
during these troubled times. You are the God of everything, as I like to say. But who knows? Who can understand the mind of God? We pray for our frontline workers. Be with each and every one of them and thank you for them, Lord. Our law enforcement, dear God, we continue to pray for them and the work that they do day in and day out. Our fire departments as well, our EMS. Our men and women in uniform here and abroad, we pray for each and every one of them, my God. Be their safety, Lord. Be their safety. Your hands of liberation, dear God, once again, upon all those that are dealing with issues, whether they are financial or uh, other types of issue, housing or job related, my God. Break every chain, dear God. Break every chain. I claim victory and triumph over their lives. Over their lives. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and all, as I've said, that you are doing and all that you will continue to do because of your promises, dear God. Help us to hang on, my Lord, to hang on tight. We ask you always to be on our side, but we ask that you help us to be on your side, dear Lord. Help us to be on your side. Our teachers, our children, be with them, my God. Administrators, our government officials, be with them, my God. Speak to them, my Lord, so that they may make the appropriate decisions for their constituents. May they work with their constituents. May they remember their constituents, dear God. We need your love, Lord. We need your love more now than ever. We need the peace that only you can give. The peace that surpasses all understanding. We thank you for your word coming up, dear Lord. Speak to each and every one of us. So we ask for all this, dear God. We ask all this in your holy name. And we can all say, Amen and Amen. Praise you, Lord.